if you purchase a gadget online like in amazon.com you will see an option for emi like 12 months 24 months and so on and if you pick up the option of emi then you will end up paying more amount than the price and this extra amount is basically the interest and it's in fact calculated based on simple interest concept and to understand how it is let's get into this topic the first term is principal it is the sum or the money which is borrowed or lent out for a certain period of time at a certain rate The second is rate of interest R. It is a rate at which money is borrowed or lent out. And it is always in percentage. The third quantity is time. It is the period for which the money is borrowed or lent out. Now the fourth one is interest. It is the extra amount paid on the borrowed or lent out money at a certain rate for a certain period and the last term is amount it is the whole sum paid after using the money and we can think of amount as a sum of principal and interest now the question is how do we calculate the simple interest for this we have a formula and the formula is simple interest is principal into rate into time upon 100 we can write this as si equals prt by 100 if the question asks simple interest we can use this formula or if it's rate of interest then r will be si into 100 by pt and time is simple interest into 100 by pr and principle is simple interest into 100 by rt so basically the other permutations whatever possible with this particular formula okay let's try out with the first type that is direct formula based questions what amount a man would have received on a principle of rupees 4000 after two years at simple interest at the rate of five percent per annum and few options are there to solve this, let me write the given data. The principal is rupees 4000, time is 2 years, the rate is 5%. And we are supposed to calculate the amount. Now we already know simple interest is PRT by 100. That's 4000 into 5 into 2 by 100. That is basically rupees 400. Then amount is principal plus simple interest. That is 4000 plus 400 that's rupees 4400 therefore option is C now instead of doing it in this lengthy process we could speed up if we can do the mental calculation something like this look at the rate and time simple interest is P R T by 100 so we are multiplying R into T so 5 into 2 is basically 10 then 10 by 100 it is p by 10 that p by 10 means 4000 by 10 that is 400 so till here we could have done it mentally no need to put the pen on the paper then 
they are asking the amount so add this 400 to the principal that is 4400 so without using pen if you are good at the calculations then you could have done it directly so whichever is convenient you can go in that format okay here we have another question the simple interest occurred on an amount at the end of five years at 12.5 percent is rupees 1575 what is the amount now again let me write the given data time is five years interest rate is 12.5 percent and the simple interest is rupees 1575 and we are supposed to calculate the principal now we know simple interest is prt by 100 or p is simple interest into 100 by rt so when we substitute it is 1575 into 100 by 12.5 into 5 that is 157500 by 62.5 or if you do a little bit of uh, division this is 126 into 20 that is rupees 2520 therefore option d now again in this if you carefully observe there's a denominator with decimal and doing this calculation would be hectic so here we can use a little bit of shortcut so let's try that simple interest is P R T by 100 just focus on this R by 100 so R by 100 is basically 12.5 by 100 this if you solve this will be 1 by 8 so if I go back and substitute it is 1575 is equals to x into 1 by 8 into 5 so 5 and this can be cancelled 315 times so x will be 315 into 8 that is rupees 2520 now the type 2 questions two schemes with different interest rates ravi invested rupees p in a scheme a offering simple interest 10 percent per annum for two years he invested the whole amount he received from scheme a into another scheme b offering a simple interest at a rate of 12 percent per annum for five years if the difference between the interest earned from scheme A and B was rupees 1300 what is the value of P okay let's solve this so here they have given two schemes scheme A and scheme B now Ravi has taken an amount of P and the rate of interest was 10 percent and the time was two years then whatever amount he accumulated so basically some interest was generated and that was added to the amount so that amount is invested into the second scheme with principal PB where the rate of interest was 12% and time was 5 years and again here also he might have accumulated some interest so let's call it as SB so that's that's what given and apart from that they said the difference between their interest is 1300 so simple interest B and A is rupees 1300. Now they are asking us to calculate the value of P. So this is the unknown quantity. So for this let us go by general procedure. Let me calculate the interest for A. So interest for A is principal into rate into time by 100. This is P by 5. Now with this interest the amount will be principal plus interest. This is P plus P by 5, 6 P by 5. And we already know this particular amount has been invested into the second scheme so let's calculate the interest for the second scheme as well so interest for b will be principal in b into rate of interest in b into time in b by 100 that is basically 6p by 5 into 12 into 5 by 100 this is 18p by 25 now we know both the values simple interest of a simple interest of b so let's substitute that 18p by 25 minus p by 5 is 1300 so 13p by 25 is 1300 or p is rupees 2500 therefore option a again this is a, a lengthy process now if you can calculate fast we could have concise couple of steps so let me try that 
here also let me calculate the r by 100 so r in the first case is 10 percent so 10 by 100 that is 1 by 10 now what about rt by 100 so r by 100 into t that is 1 by 10 into 2 that's 1 by 5. now the interest generated is prt by 100 that is p into 1 by 5 that's p by 5. so till here we could have done it mentally without using the pen then the amount is p plus p by 5 that is 6p by 5. now this becomes the principal for the second scheme that is p of b is 6p by 5. now again for the second case what is r by 100 that is 12 by 100 which is 3 by 25. then what about rt by 100 this is 3 by 25 into 5 this becomes 3 by 5. Now what about the what about the simple interest for the case B? So we need to multiply this P and RT by 100. So this is 6 into 3 that is 18P. Denominators 5 into 5, 25. So whenever we have fractions, it's more easy to solve. Now let's substitute. This is 18P by 25 minus P by 5 is equal to 1300. The rest follows. Once we solve this the p will be rupees 2500 so small small calculations if you can do mentally then you can speed up the overall solving process mm -hmm.